Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you've never been here before. Today's video, I'm going to talk all about how to make friends as an adult. I think this is something that after you get to a certain age, you get out of school, whether that be high school, college, both, you start to realize that you only end up with the same group of people, which is the people that you're working with and the people you are with, your family, and the friends that you've created in your past. First off, you have to put yourself out there. I think that's no question, that's a no brainer. For instance, I started this past year back in March, starting to play Ultimate Frisbee. That's something that I never thought that I would say, do. I didn't know I'd be interested in it, nor did I think it'd be good in it. But I went because I'm looking for a new workout routine and something to do for fun. I ended up making a lot of friends doing that and it was the best decision that I've ever made. So I urge a lot of my friends to come along with me too, to be able to share that experience together. Make sure that when you are searching for friends that you are aware, just like if you were to find someone you're dating, you are aware of where you're finding those people. So if you go to a bar at a night out and you're not usually one to want to go party or drink, that might not necessarily be the best place to find someone because granted, they could be there just like you at this place, something that they do on only occasion. However, you have to keep in mind, is this something that they do frequently? Is this a lifestyle that I want? and a friend. Another thing is you have to kind of cease the moment. So if you come across somebody that you think that you vibe with, that you feel like even if they're a cash register at a store and you guys are chatting and you're like, you know what, I think she could be a good friend of mine or he or whatever. You just have to seize that moment. And as weird as it seems, it's kind of like hitting on someone. You don't want to hit on them, but you want to just be like, yo, here's my socials, here's my number, whatever the case may be. And just be like, I feel like we vibe really well and I would like to become friends and see what they say. If they're not into it, whatever, you still don't have that friend. But if they are into it, then you can make a friend. So it's just pretty much, you have to go for it. If you're wondering, well, where can I go? What can I do? Not everybody does ultimate frisbee near me. So some ideas of great places to find friends for me are in the summer going to the beach, go to the gym, go to find yourself a gym to belong to so that you can start seeing people who are bettering their lives and their bodies. And maybe you can even join a yoga group. You can join a group of something that you might enjoy. And then you share that same passion with other people that are going there. Intramural sports, even at a little bit of an older age, you'll still find that there are a lot of pages on Facebook or on social platforms that you can join nearby. Going to social events, for instance, fairs or festivals, farmers markets, things like that, where you are putting yourself out there, whether you go there alone with family or with friends, you will at least put yourself in a position where you are open to that. I must say, be cautious of constantly turning to the internet to try to make friends. It won't work as well. First off, because those people that you see on the internet may not be living near you. Secondly, they are a virtual friend. Now, that there's nothing wrong with that. I have plenty of those. However, you have to keep in mind if you're looking for friends you want long term, you want to grow with you, you need to find people in person. And it's kind of the same way for a relationship. You can't just keep looking online for people far away. You need to look here where you are. Now I have received messages from people that I am extremely close to even still now that they reached out to me online. If you know the people are close to you or you really feel a vibe with them online, there's nothing wrong with reaching out. In fact, it might make their day. And the way I always put it to others is if you do not ever cease the opportunity, you will lose 100% at the time and you will never gain anything. If you're worried about the way that it might come off or the, the answer that might happen, whether they say no or yes, think of it this way. If you don't ask at all, the answer is no regardless. At least if you ask, you have made your valiant attempt and you can go on your merry way whether or not they want to accept it or not. That just means that you had good intentions and they didn't feel that same way and that's okay. Another way that you can make friends as an adult is spreading kindness, doing things that are helping other people such as fundraisers or Salvation Army or the full soup kitchen. 
things like that where you just really put yourself out there to help other people. There you will find that you'll make friends that are interested in helping other people too and that is always a good thing. If you are religious, church is a great way to make friends. You are sharing that same love. Music, if you love music, then going to local bands, free concerts, different locations that have live bands, and just supporting local artists. These are just ideas. Basically, you have to put yourself out there. If you don't put yourself out there, how do you expect to make friends? And then you have to stay consistent when you have them. You have to either decide that you wanna be friends with them or you do not. And the final thing that I will say that I think really helps if you want to try to make friends, especially as an adult, is to be supportive of your friends' businesses or your friends' pages. It costs zero dollars to share something, to like something, to comment on something, and be supportive and kind. There's a lot of people that I notice on my Instagram, for instance, I post pictures every day, I post stories every day and a lot of people will look at those stories and I know that they're flipping through, they're posting themselves, but they're not commenting things on my posts and that's fine, but I notice it. I definitely want to be supportive of my friends and so as much as I can, I try to comment inspiring things to them or compliments and just spread kindness because I think that that's a good thing. Share your friends' businesses and support them. They're working hard on their dreams and things that they enjoy doing. I think that is not only a good way to make friends, but a good way to keep them too. Anyway, that's a wrap, guys. If you have any questions for me, check the description box below for all my social media account information. Or if you have a business inquiry that you'd like to reach out to me, my email is down there as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click the bell button to be alerted when I post. I post every single Monday and Thursday mornings, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. And as always, stay sassy.